Yep. Okay. There we go. All right, we are back. Um, okay, so my next question for you is: Do you? have a good handle on your own feelings like when you feel things do you know or when you like something or when you feel something like do you feel like you understand that or is it confusing to you um sometimes my mood can be like somewhat arbitrary and i i'm sort of unable to tell the root of it currently Okay. Um, or I know the root of it, but I don't know why it's causing me to feel that way. I mean, I wouldn't say I have a terrible, a terrible grasp. Um, and I mean, I don't know, in the past sort of six months, I've intentionally sort of um, adopted a, a stoicism and like have tried to like be in like complete control of my emotions. Mm -hmm. Um just because for some reason I've had just like way more mood swings okay. and like mood has like almost felt like it's not even a thing for me anymore. Okay. Um, I mean, it's not like it's that convincing, like there's still something there, but consciously I, th I think I convinced myself do you watch Darren, of that. Do you watch Darren Brown, by the way? I do not know who Darren Brown is. Oh who my is goodness, he? you should watch Darren Brown. He's a stoic, so give him, give him a it's, He's a mentalist. Just a, like a general s s no, stoic philosopher? He, he's a mentalist. Or, he's a mentalist. He's a, magi oh, okay. a magician and a mentalist, an INFJ, actually. Uh, and he has written a book about stoicism. So he is definitely uh, has a lot to say about stoicism. Anyways, yeah. I, I don't want to derail, but um, go watch Darren Brown's All right. videos. He's All right. I'll, I'll look him up. He's got a whole channel, and I, I'm telling you, it's a black hole. You will get lost for the next, like, six months. <laughs> There's that's so what many, I like to do. There's all right. so many videos, and like they're all ten out of ten videos. So that's there's there's a there's a video called Apocalypse where he found a guy that was uh, living off of his parents and and like not really launching in, into his twenties, and he can he manipulated events around him to make him think that a meteor shower had caused the end of the world, basically, and then like. He woke up in a hospital and there's zombies and stuff. And like, <laughs> there's everyone's actors, like everyone around. Right, right. Him, it's like the Truman Show. Everyone around him is actors, and and it's like a transformational kind of thing for him that he goes through because he has to be in charge of uh, some people at a compound and stuff like that. Yeah. So, anyways, watch Sick. Aaron Brown. It's so good. I mean, he's just amazing. all right. I'll check him out for yeah, sure. It's amazing. Um, all right. <laughs> so, um, let me ask you this. Are you a picky eater? No. Um, You're not? I mean... Do you just eat, like, whatever? Like, if somebody puts, kinda, food, I mean, somebody there's puts like, food in yeah. front of you, will you eat it? Yeah. I mean, there, it's... I mean, it's got to be something I really don't like for me, to, for me to not eat it. I mean, in, even if I didn't, I would still eat it. If, Someone put it in front of me. So okay, and that, <laughs> like, is that because you're a college student, or is that just generally how you are? I I think it's generally how I. I mean, here here in college, I like, you know, it's a diner, so I get to do whatever I want. But you know, okay. if I'm, um, okay, you know, if, I, if I'm a guest somewhere, yeah, yeah, I can't imagine them like serving anything that I just wouldn't. I okay. would repeat to eat. Um, okay, so let me ask you this. Here's another kind of a different gear. Um, you know, everybody does some degree of daydreaming, right? Um, we all we all sleep, we all dream. Um, sometimes we're awake and we have a daydream. When you daydream, is it a um, is it about what is it about, and, and how often would you say it happens? Um, very often. Um, very often. Okay. It's generally me imagining um, maybe a scenario I would like. Um, okay. Or a certain conversation with someone, mm -hmm. or it's or it's just me. Like I don't know. I'll be in the shower, walking around, and I'll try to like articulate something I've been thinking about, or like kind of flesh it out. Okay. Um, okay. And is it uh, because you're trying to make it easier to understand, or is it because you're trying to figure out how the mechanics of the idea, or what is it exactly that you're trying to figure out? Um, I think I generally, when I do that, I already sort of understand it. Um, uh -huh. 
part of it, it's like me sort of maybe potentially, you know, acknowledging that I might potentially be talking um, to someone else about this. Uh -huh. um, partly, I just kind of enjoy it for some reason. It just gives me satisfaction okay. um, to do that. Uh -huh. But, you know, I'll often just like have an idea in my head. I sort of like know what I'm thinking about and then I'll just put it into words. Um, okay. Because I just want to find like the perfect words to convey it. Would you say that people people don't really understand you? Um, no. Or do people? Get, no, do people I, I don't get think. You? I don't think. I th I think it's it's not that they people misunderstand me. I don't think people understand me any less than they would a lot of other people. I think I don't try to present um, myself fully or try to present certain aspects of myself um, that I, you know, like there's certain aspects of myself that I don't present. So it's not them misunderstanding me. It's just me not choosing to present them because I don't feel the need to be, to represent myself that way. Like, okay. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and if I did, I mean, just, pro I mean, you know, I, I can't ex expect to basically just pre present my own thoughts and like project my own thoughts onto a, a screen and project like my exact image of myself on screen and everyone would just immediately okay know who I am like I don't, I don't really so, so I you know so I don't even really feel the need to do that entirely okay. um, yeah would you say I, that Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, continue. I was just, I, I think there's aspects of myself that I know, um, you know, are, you know, palatable for others. There are, you know, I can be funny in certain ways, and I really, I play into those things um, that I know others can appreciate. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, how much of a meme lord are you? <laughs> not much like not honestly much. not not i'm not naturally inclined no um that, like how would you specifically like what consists of that i mean i kind of know but i, I, I feel want, like i kind of feel like if you are you would know and if you're not then you yeah like it's like, like, a, okay, it's like I, a normie if you're if you're a normie then you're like somebody <laughs> says are you a normie you're just like what's that but if you're not a normie then somebody asks you that you'd be like no i'm not you know because you would right. know you would know what that means like I think I would like okay. I have a group of friends here who like fit closest into that category. Mm -hmm. When I'm with them, I really like become that. Generally, right, but it's not not like, not really like it doesn't come from within you. It has you have to be in that. Situation. Yeah, and I and I and I enjoy it. It's not like right, it's not like right. me just catering to it. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. kind of enjoy having that little thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. little group of people that I can do that with. Right, right. But do it's you... not my mode of interaction. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, how, how artistic are you? I mean, some people are like, I'm not artistic at all. Some people that's like, they're obsessed with it. Some people are like, I have, a, I have a few interests that are in the arts. Like, where do you fall on that spectrum? Um, very artistic, I'd say. Very artistic? Um, okay. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just, it's, I think art is a big part of my life. I okay. spend crazy amounts of time watching movies, listening to music, reading books and thinking about them and talking about them with others and, mm -hmm thinking thinking about making uh them um so yeah i mean i'd, I'd say yeah i and what you know i have ideas and i want i want them to be conveyed through art what is it about the arts that does it for you um i think um sort of just i just think they're first of all just very enjoyable um, when consumed, I, and I think I just appreciate them mm -hmm. as a catalyst, as being enjoyable by themselves, and as like a catalyst for ideas in a, mm -hmm. you know, in a certain, in a very individualized way. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, would you say that? Would you say that you believe that? that the individuals experience the individuals 
well, the individual is important to you, essentially, right? <laughs> like, the individual human experience, like, not necessarily the universal experience, but, like, what you are experiencing as an individual. Actually, uh, I, I know I did say it. I actually, I would say no. Um, I'd say I'm much more focused on, I'd say what I'm most inclined to observe mm -hmm. and have insights on is uh, human nature. Okay. Just general human nature and just the nature of things generally. Um, and, you know, I do introspect and, like, you know, try to think about myself, but I think generally when I do think about myself, it always ends up being applied to, like, you know, others and, like, my perception of myself and what I know about what my thought processes are. I, to an extent, try to understand humans in general. Um, and in our, it's like, I would not, like, I, w I would not write a song about a breakup or something or something that I, like, went through personally. Um, what would you write not, a song about? Um, there's, um, I mean, there's a million different things. The one, I mean, it's not a song. I, I never wrote the song. Um, I did recently have an idea and I wrote like some lyrics for it. Mm -hmm. um, it was called um, Antlered Carpenter. Mm -hmm. That was going to be the name of the song and it, it kind of focused on like why things are the way they are. You know, the song was kind of describing some specific person and then questioning, like, why is it that instead of something like random, like an antler carpenter? Just like, I don't know. It's, I don't. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm exactly where you are, but um, it might be because I'm trying to. Type it's. it's and, I mean, and it's, and it's to, to phrase it. To, to phrase it generally. Um, yeah. It's like, I mean, the question of that song is, why are things? the way they are and not the way they are sort of look I, I mean yeah I mean it's not so, that you know something I thought of like four months ago I, it sounds pretty abstract I, I, I would consider it abstract <laughs> <laughs> yes okay. um, but I mean although generally I think Musically specifically, it's like I'm the least concerned about uh, conveying. Like I'm, I feel like when I think about music, it's much more about sound and creating unique sound. Uh -huh. Whereas um, writing or movies would be much more focused on philosophy. Um, okay. Yeah, I like I wouldn't I wouldn't write a music I wouldn't write music with a message like. I, like a political message, or would you write? Would you something write something directly that I want? Okay, I want the, to read the lyrics and understand exactly what I'm saying. I wouldn't right. do that. Right, right, right. So you would it would be more about writing something that is your personal message, or like something that you. Or it, I mean, it, it either something that I've, yeah, so, like, it something like that to I, your story uh, an idea I value. Yeah, an or, idea yeah, you value. Or, yeah, that makes sense. Or, or just because I. I think it's just not the greatest catalyst. Not like if I were to talk about my ideas, I'd I'd write about them. Um, mm -hmm. And music is just like, and I, you know, when I listen to music, lyrics aren't um, are more for atmosphere. Like I hear words and kind of gain a sort of mood, sort of mood or tone from them, rather than you know I you know I wouldn't go through rap lyrics try to decipher the hidden meanings, you know, and the double entendres and all that shit. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, well, the good news is I'm pretty sure I know what type you are. And we're at the 45-minute mark, so boom! So? How about that. <laughs> um, but then again, I'm not going to tell you what type you are. I'm not going to be like, you're this type, you know. I'm, I'm, yeah. It's more like I, I would more like tell you what type I think you are and then you could tell me what type you think you are 
and then maybe we'll be able to identify how close we both are or where you might have gotten a certain result that's different than my result and we'll see if they both share a lot of the same cognitive functions or something and maybe that will give us a clue as to you know maybe you'll have two options to think about who knows so yeah. either you're gonna either we're gonna agree on what type you either you're gonna say i came up this yeah. type or and i agree on that or i'm gonna say a different type and you're gonna be like i don't know about that and then yeah you're gonna think about it and maybe you'll decide that you're this other type or you're you're actually the type you think you are yeah so anyways Drum roll, please. Do you want to write down on paper what you think you are and then hold it up once I say what I think? Do you have a pen with you? Um, or yeah. I, can, I can do the same thing yeah. on my end. I'll, I'll be honest. Just to, I'll, I'll, I'll say what I think I am. Wait, like, hold on. I want, to write down, I want to write down what I think you are, and then I want you to say it, and then I'm going to... Okay, just so you can't say that I like fudged it and I was like, oh okay. yeah, that's the one I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead okay. and tell me what you I, mean. INTP. Close. That's. I, I, ISFP, really. Yes. That surprises me. Does that surprise you? Why yes. Does that surprise definitely. you? Definitely. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm very confident I'm not an ISFP. Well, I'll explain. But let's hear it. Yeah. I'll explain a few reasons why I think it, and you can deduce whether you think that's true or not. Um, one is uh, I ruled out. Well, okay. Let me put it this way: INTP was not my first rule out by any stretch. In fact, when I share this video, you will be able to see that's all 16 types and you will be able to see when I ruled certain ones out. So okay. um, that, that will probably help you as you like look at it. But it ended up in a final four at the end and that was tricky. It was between ISTP, ISFP, INTP, and INFP. Um, and so- I, uh, I, I assume that. Yeah, so I, I know you're an IP, like that's pretty obvious. So uh, it, it's a question of intuitive versus um, sensing and thinking versus feeling. Um, and what I tried, what I tried to figure out was, um, first of all, do you feel really out of place? You know, and INFPs, it's a common thing for INFPs to be, to be, to feel very out of place because they're such a small percentage of people and they, it's just how they seem to feel. Um, yeah. And you don't necessarily come across that way. So I, I was able to rule out INFP. Um, I also ruled out ISTP ultimately. It was actually down between, at the end, I actually ruled out INTP before I ruled out ISTP, strangely enough. Um, and it had to do with extroverted intuition. And let me explain what the deal is. You talk in a certain way that I talk, by the way, which implies that you use introverted intuition. Um, now, you were not able to answer the introverted intuition question as quickly as I was, so I knew that I use it a lot more than you do. But I also, the, the rope question, you were really slow on that, but you did make, you did do all right on that one. So I, I mean, it's one thing about the intro, introverted intuition question, you know, I think the, the, I think the approach that I was kind of going, like, I'm, okay, the, the stuff of like, can, you know, can, it can be, you know, you know, chair, a TV and a carpet, yeah. you know, they can be clean, they can be dirty, they can be, sure, um, sure, sure, sure. they have, they have atoms, um, they exist, they, it's like, I feel like they're all, well, once, those, you those know what, things, once you know how I would answer it, then, yeah, you, yeah. then you've got a pattern kind of. But, but I, I, it's, it's, not, it's not just about like how you, but it, it was kind of, I, I think I was thinking of it of, from the perspective of those, those seem like kind of inherent, like, and, you know, any pretty, almost any three objects or any three things I can name that are, you know, not, you know, abstract concepts. Uh-huh. You know, they could be 
fall into that category. And I think I consciously chose uh, not to say that those. Well, let me. I mean, obviously, you didn't create those restrictions for me, so it was, I mean, it yeah, was not. Yeah. It was on me for assuming that. But. Well, let let's try to see if we can come to a consensus on it. So, yeah. Um, let's. Oh let's, yeah, continue. Let's your... look at ISTP. So I would say that I don't think you're an ISTP, and you seem to think that you're not an ISTP, right? So we would agree that you're probably not an ISTP. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, we would agree. But I mean, <laughs> or you, you don't know enough about ISTP, maybe, to to know whether you. Are. No, I mean. It's not, but I mean, you know, if we're talking ISFP versus INTP, it seems like that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it, com I'm thinking it comes down that. to I think it comes down to one of those two. So, um, uh, what? what uh, let me tell you why I started. To, why? Why I started gravitating towards ISFP was because you said that it's about your it's about the idea that you have that's important not necessarily now it's not not to say that you don't care about the universal human experience because you do but what i mean to say is what what matters is your unique idea in a, in a sense and an intp to me doesn't seem to be it seems to be uh the ones i've met and i've even dated a few seem to be fairly impartial to ideas essentially that ideas come and ideas go and there are a million ideas and this idea and that idea and this idea i i go, go ahead you yeah no so so i think I, what i think I've, what i've observed anyways is that isfps are partial to ideas Whereas INTPs sort of just shit out ideas like all the fucking time, and they, yes, they do like things, but I mean, like, it's not that that's not a big part of who they are. Kind of, they 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 kind of are like vessels for ideas. Then more than they are, I, there's a reason ISFP is called the artist because they use introverted intuition. They're, it's just because they're a sensing type don't misunderstand they use a lot of intuition um, they go into a FINI loop which is an introverted feeling ex introverted intuition loop which means they are it's all about it's all about values and authenticity mixed with ideas and synthesis and universality you know so I mean yeah. Here, here's how I view um, what you said about INTPs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I do have a lot of ideas, and I they come and go, and a shit ton of them I forget. Mm -hmm. You know, they pass my by my mind every day. I think I don't. I think the INTPs do value their ideas, and they care about them. I I think. I think, and you know, and they want to convey convey them to others. I, you know, my ideas they they're not necessarily unique. I don't think they're unique to me in the sense that um, they, you know, apply to me only. They they are sort of observations mm -hmm. I, I've made I I've made mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about things generally, and yeah, basically. Um, well, um, I, and I, I don't know. I, yeah, go ahead. I, I mean, the artist stereotype for ISFPs, like, that's just a that's that doesn't I, mean that's just a there are artists of every type. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's I, just, I, that's just a stereotype. That's not a that like there are ENTJ artists. So it's not like um, I mean, it's it, I thought I, I I yes. I it mean, doesn't I, mean that I just because artist, you're an artist, it's you're over an artist. I'm an artist. ISFPs. What's it? I think it's overestimated in ISFPs, the artistry, art, artistic aspect. Probably, uh, probably uh, yes. I, I have I a think, good friend. I think they have, they have a very good grasp of aesthetics. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they have a great fashion sense. Uh, you know, they like whatever, nice pictures. <laughs> no, that was, that was a little. But, mm -hmm. you know, they, you know they'll, they'll like painting. Mm -hmm. um, they'll like, you know you know, going to a concert and getting lost to the sound, I don't picture them as people with um, ideas 
like artistic ideas that they like i don't think they're writers at all and i'd say i'm primarily a writer well i i don't think that's true actually um i I don't know about that uh i think i think um there's a mischaracterization that that i think every type can be a writer but i mean the thing about isfps is um because of their you know the, because of their um use of introverted intuition and introverted feeling they're going to be motivated to do a lot of writing because of the things that are going on inside them and what they want to get out what they want to express um because it matters to them you know that's so the question I would say to you is, do you think that your feelings matter? I mean, regardless I, I of what that, yeah, where I we mean, are in the type, I, I mean, I think you asked type. since you're like asking me, and I, yeah, I know like exactly what answer cor- like correlates to which type. So yeah, you know, right, right. Have, so I, like, like, um, I like I honestly yeah, yeah. do. You know, in situations, my feelings about things, I, th- I think, are a much, I don't really factor them into, you know, how I deal with others. I mean, listen, you know, of, of course there's no objective, you know, importance in my feelings. I mean, do they matter to me? I mean, sure, I want to be happy rather than sad. Mm-hmm. Um like you know i it's hard for me to say like how i would distinguish between you know maybe an i ifp would say um sorry i'm i'm scattered right now that's okay um do you think that you would feel insulted if somebody said that they thought you were an isfp <laughs> um you know, honestly, I would not. It it, it is somewhat distant um, from my my vision of myself. Okay. Um, so I, I insulted would not. I I'd, I'd be very surprised. Like if if someone I met in real life thought, I'd just be very surprised. Essentially. Um, Let's see here. Do you do you think that um, do you think that you have a strong value system? No, I, I'm in a, in a, I've thought about this. I, I like really don't. No, do you think that you could commit murder indiscriminately? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> like I, I feel like s- stuff like that. Um, I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel it, it'd be very difficult for me to like um, write down if so, someone asked me to write down values I have it'd be very difficult for me to do that um, okay. apart from writing you know obvious moral objections like whatever that like murder um, sure, sure, sure. you know and I think yeah, yeah. you know that's part, part of I think part of uh, part of the reason I think I'm um, you know for, forget let, let's just say we're talking about ITP right ITP right now. I think this second aspect in ter- terms of TI, I'm just like, I'm. I think I'm very keen on and very good at. S- someone presents me with a statement, yeah. I accept it and respond I, to it logically. In, de- um, in defense of INTP, you answered the mother's sister's daughter's question like, phew, like right like that, which is a total TI question. That's what I that I would. That's a TI test. So yeah. you answered it like right away. So um, and, um, that and, would be and, a good yeah. case for TI. And another, I just inferior FE seem like just makes perfect sense to me. Okay. I I'm simultaneously very concerned mm-hmm. um, about how others feel around me. Yeah, I think perception to an extent as well, like trying perception. to understand, but at, at the same time feel difficulty in. Um, 
Yep. Okay. Engaging with him and you've won me over. I think you're an INTP probably. So the the TI question I, the TI I, I, question was was really the the one that I as you mentioned it and as I thought back through it it makes a lot of sense. Um, an ISFP might have difficulty because they're an extroverted thinker and an inferior one at that. So they may have difficulty working their way through the logic of that sequence um, because they wouldn't be as familiar with doing it as often as a TI user would. So what, uh, why, uh, I would say you probably won me over. You were asked it. What's it? In that case. What, what was like, the question? What made you eliminate IS? I, I don't know, because when you said like ISF here, kind of seemed like it didn't make sense since like, you know, ISTP would seem to be some like, kind of a logical bridge between them. Well, I had you narrowed down to IS, ISFP and ISTP because of extroverted sensing. That's why. Because what, what makes you say extroverted sensing? Well, I, you, you enjoy sports and you do things with sports and it's just not, it's not something that introverted sensors tend to either both introverted sensors and inferior extroverted sensors. So like me, I'm an INFJ. I am not a sports guy, but it's because I'm an inferior extroverted sensor. I would rather just go out in na nature and just enjoy nature. I don't want to like actually physically move my body. And uh, an ISFP or an ISTP, they're going to be more likely to want to move their body, but probably more likely an ISTP than an ISFP. So that's that's kind of where that's where my thought process I mean, was kind of. I, I I may have like slightly mischaracterized myself. I mean. I, I mean, I, I say this honestly, I haven't played a single sport in the past six months. I mean, I enjoy pickup basketball. Yeah. It's like, you know, but generally I'm so, like, I'm very physically inactive. I mean, extroverted. I mean, <laughs> I mean you should probably be more active. <laughs> Just, um, it, like, even, forget about personality stuff. Like, it's good for everybody. And I say that to myself, yeah, too. I, like, I, I, I tell myself that a lot. And, you know, everybody should be doing, everyone we, watching this video, go out and go on a walk right now, because we should all be doing that more. <laughs> okay, I mean, to clarify, um, yeah. Before, like before this video, I was um, actually debating between INTP and ENTP. Oh, interesting. I, I would not. I would not think you're an ENTP I, at all. And I, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 not at all. The way I present, I presented myself with. It makes way more I, sense that you're an e, that you're an IP than you than that you're an EP yeah. for sure. Um, no it's problem. just like, yeah, and but like I don't know for some reason in a, in certain contexts I can just get. You know, recently I've just felt like super extroverted INTP, and like you know, I can be, honestly, yeah. honestly, IPs can be very extroverted. Every every introverted type can be very extroverted. It just really depends on the situation and the people they're around and stuff like that. So I mean, it's complete mischaracterization that introverts aren't extroverted. It's just that they're that's not their go-to. Like that's just not where they want to be. Like when they want to feel comfortable, that's just that's where they end up a lot of the times going, but. It's more like that's where you want to go when you want to mix things up, not when you want to be yourself and be comfortable. That's where you want to go when you want to change things up and and do something new and interesting. You know. Um. Yeah. I mean, thank you very much. I didn't mean to like. I mean, after this, I'm definitely still gonna like look into, um, you know, ISFP and ISTP and oh, that's okay. Sort of like look at. You know, I didn't mean to be like, no, you're wrong. No, like, you're, no, not at all. Remember, remember at the beginning, I said this is going to be a collaborative, a collaborative thing. Like, um, nobody, nobody else lives inside your head but you. So there's no, there's nobody, you know, no typologist that you pay is going to be able to say you're this and you, that's and fuck your feelings. You know, it, it really does come down to your own experience and you because you know yourself better than anyone else does. So it's really about being honest with yourself more than anything else. That's all. So it, it's about being able to like observe your own behavior and be like, yeah, I guess I actually am kind of like this and not like that or whatever. So. If you feel strongly that INTP fits you and you've read a bunch of different descriptions of it and and you've weighed it against ISFP 
and yeah. you watch this video even and you see where I made decisions to break things down and it makes sense and INTP still makes sense to you, then you're probably an INTP if I'm, you know what I mean? Like I'll probably agree with you on that. So it, it's a little dicey <laughs> to figure that out sometimes. Um, sometimes people spend a year or two years, you know, maybe even more trying to figure it out. And yeah, it's just it's, it's hard to know yourself sometimes because you're so close to yourself. You're 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 living with yourself every day, and you're like, well, you know, <laughs> I would do this. Well, yeah. how do you know? I mean, unless you know what other people would say about you or whatever. So the main thing is, my my goal is to give you a second opinion and just something to think about. You can watch the video again, and you know. Maybe you'll find some, maybe you'll settle on it, you know? Maybe you'll settle on an ATP and be like, not worry about it anymore. <laughs> right. You know? Um, well. Yeah. Thank you. Any questions yeah. for me? <laughs> Any questions? About me? So you're, Do you you're want an to know INFJ, anything right? about me? <laughs> you're, a, you're an INFJ, right? I'm an INFJ, yes. Yeah. Um, cool. Do I seem How's pretty that? extroverted? <laughs> um, I mean... No, I think you seem like pretty typical. For I mean, I know you said high, you know, high and I, um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, definitely would type be more INFJ over ENFJ or something like that. Like, um, but yeah, how's that? <laughs> How is that? <laughs> well, I'm 38, so I'm actually far enough along the where where it's okay, but. Most of the time, <laughs> like most of the time before that was pretty shitty. <laughs> yeah. Um, people, I've read comments from people and they've said like INFJ is the worst personality type I would want to be. Like that's the last personality type I would want to be. And, really? I, and I would say, I would say, well, I, I feel like maybe INFP, like I, I feel like INFPs have it pretty hard. I don't know if I would want to be an INFP, but. I, I have uh, two INFP sisters. Oh, really? Um, is, is well, it, I'm not sure about one, but is one is rough on undoubted. that. I don't know. Um, I mean, like, one of them, I, I thought I was very similar to the one I'm, I know is INFP. And then this winter br over like winter break, it's like we had completely different like attitudes toward things. I mean, we're still really close. We've always gotten along really well. I, yeah, INFP would be tough. I mean, I think I don't know INFJ. I, I, it's hard for me to imagine it's they they seem so um versatile uh, yeah. it's, it's hard for me to imagine. and like i don't know I, I know three infjs in my life and i don't know they're all you, you know what you know great. how you know how i would describe it it's like having deep faults but also deep skills at the same time to try to c compensate for those faults so yeah. you kind of you live in, in in a world of extremes, you know. Like you're you're constantly bouncing back and forth between introverted intuition, which is a very impersonal, disconnected kind of way of being, and then extroverted feeling, where you're just like connected to everybody and you just like love everybody and want to be connected to everybody. And so you flip back and forth so much between these two things, and it, they're so contradictory to be so disconnected from humanity, but also feel really connected to humanity. So you know that that that's kind of yeah. where where it is for me. It seems to be a consistent thing where all the INF they're they're never glaringly any dichotomy or anything. Like mm -hmm. I meet an INFJ, they're never like. You know, if I try to type something in my head, I'll be like, this is, you know, this person's clearly a thinker. You know, I can go for a living uh, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With INFJs, it's, they're never, like, glaringly anything. and But, <laughs> right. like, holistically, it's like, okay, this person is totally yes. an INFJ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, 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 like, we definitely ride the line between thinker and feeler big time because so we can really feel feel strongly with the feelers and think strongly with the thinkers, and that's, that's where... That's where we kind of get where we get in trouble, kind of, because we piss off the feelers and we piss off the thinkers. Because the, you know the trouble being an INFJ is you know you're pissing people off because extroverted feeling, but you can't stop it <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you want to manage expectations, but you can't because for some reason you're beholden to your fucking ideals, you know, and 
that's that's what it is. I've seen INFJ can described as the ideologist. You know, so we come up with ideologies and we believe them. And we, we you know, and the way I would describe it is like we create Kool Aid and then we drink our Kool Aid and then we give our Kool Aid to other people, and 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 create a mess. Suicide. And create a big fucking mess, right? <laughs> Next thing you know, you got the Holocaust um, or Christianity. Either way, you're making a big fucking mess. Um, is the point. So that's the struggle with INFJ is when we make a mess, we make a big fucking mess. Uh, <laughs> so, um, anyways, we don't keep our mess to ourselves. We 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 share our mess with everyone else. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, it was good talking to you, Luca. I really appreciate the time. I hope it was valuable. Um, it was very valuable. I okay. Thank you for good. doing this, generally speaking. Um, for sure. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, will this be uploaded? Yeah, we'll be in touch. And hey, if you want to join the Discord, I have a Discord channel uh, for typology gifts. There's only like two or three other people in there now, but if you want to join, we'll, you want to continue talking, yeah. you can feel free to join. There's a big button on typologygifts.com. You can just click that button and, and join the Discord. All right, sick. Cool. Well, have All a right. good rest of your evening, and I'll you catch too. you later. Ciao. Ciao.